Well, hi there. My name is Inessa Chimaro, and I'm originally from Ukraine. I'm a full-time model and actor. That's my living, so... <laughs> yes, I'm a natural strawberry blonde. I also say that I'm 100% natural. So I've been modeling for about like eight years now, seven, eight years. But uh, before it was just a hobby kind of a thing on the side. And I uh, got hired to work in the restaurant in Century City. But when I started working, um, you know, it started being hard. Like I had to turn down some auditions. I had to say no to certain things because I was scheduled to work. And that kind of was my full time thing to, you know, to bring money to pay for bills. At one point I said, I can't do this anymore. If I came to LA, um, you know, to strive to be full-time that, why am I working in the restaurant? Why am I wasting my time? It's not making me happy. Yes, I'm paying bills, but it's totally not what I want to do. At one point I said, that's it. I'm, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it. I'm quitting the restaurant. I'm not going to get any of like the part-time jobs. I'm just going to go full on for the modeling and acting and trying to make the best out of it. And they said, because Hello, I'm not uh, a regular, you know, fashion model. And it was tough, actually, because designers could not fit clothes on me. Because, you know, all the girls who are really skinny, they're like, oh, wear this and this. With me, with my curves and my, um, my you know, hourglass shape, it, it was a little bit of a challenge for them. And even though I was a good runaway model, the problem was I couldn't find the clothes. I mean, they couldn't find the clothes that's going to fit me. Like, I want to share one like intimate moment where I actually like went for casting and it was for a local magazine there in South Florida. Uh, they loved me. They say, yes, we want to book you. You're perfect for it. Come for a fitting. So I went for a fitting to this like beautiful gowns, you know, beautiful nightgowns and none of them can fit me. Yeah, you know how devastated I was? I came out crying because they said, we're sorry, we, there's nothing we can do. We love you, we love your look, we love your personality, but the dresses we're trying to feature in the magazine are not fitting you because I was either too big here and too skinny here or vice versa, it just like, it didn't work well. Um, I remember I was devastated because I was like, are you serious? I, I have like, I have to suffer because of the way my body is, you know, and I'm not getting jobs because of that. It's so hard to talk about your look because, you know, it's like uh, you look as you look. <laughs> I mean, I love my hair color, how you said, like, I love that it's that. And like, I had moments where I was like, should I dye it? Is, is it going to get me better jobs? And, you know, like, you can't make everybody love you. There's going to be people who love you. There's going to be people who don't like your look, you don't like you personally. And it's it's OK, you know. I'm getting a virtual. <laughs> America. <laughs> Everybody I know knows me as a very happy, positive girl. So far, I, I can't say I'm com I completely found my niche, so I have to be different. I have to try different things. You know, like that's the moment when you figure out what works for you, what doesn't. So now I have to push myself because if I don't, <laughs> it's hard <laughs> to, you know, to pay bills with nothing. So I have to be, you know, hustling and looking for things. And that's where it comes. So I can't say like, oh, I'm a swimming suit model or like this because I would do a promo modeling. I would do catalog work. But there is a lot in me that you guys don't know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, just wait and see.